Hello, Flight Sim fans. Sim Fanatic with you. Show you a piece of payware software from Latin VFR for San Diego International Airport. Uh, this is a really good piece of scenery. Um, I think if, if you fly the area, you will find that it's uh, worth it to buy. Um, I know that many complain about, well, why, why should I pay even more on top of a flight simulator and pay for all the scenery add-ons, you know, it's just the same thing. It's a money grab. But if you think about it, you know, these developers, they, they do painstaking work. Um, they're artists. Um, they go through every single building. Well, maybe not every building, but they go through a lot of buildings um, and they take it another step farther than, um, you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator. As amazing as it is, can we really expect it to look just like the real world counterpart okay from 10,000 feet or even 2,000 feet yeah okay maybe it does but when you get down to the level and i'm going to show you here in a minute you're not going to see like the curtains in the window and those types of things um i think it's shark ai uh is the company that worked with a partnered with the sobo to do um the scenery you know they, they got the basic structures down um, so, you know, you can actually, those are the, that's the reason you can fly over your house and kind of tell at an altitude of like probably a thousand, 2000 feet plus it's like, oh yeah, that kind of looks like my house. But when you get down to the, you know, the hundred foot view or the 50 foot view, it's gonna, it's not going to look like your house. We, we, we shouldn't expect that it looks like our, our home. Or we shouldn't expect it to look like, you know, the um, Empire State Building. Well, some of those more common buildings maybe, but like, you know, every single building in the city, no. Um, it'll get the general uh, feature sets, you know, the, the architecture, the lines of them. But when it comes down to the actual hand painting of each individual building, you're not going to get that. And that's what, that's what you're paying these scenery developers like Latin VFR or um, Fly Tampa. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Fly Tampa. They did a lot of good work with uh, X-Plane scenery. FS10, for those that use FS10 or prepared 3D, they've done a lot of good work. So is Latin VFR. I'm actually excited about it because Latin VFR, I'm a, a, I was a big X-Plane um, simmer in Latin VFR, as far as I know, didn't do any scenery for X-Plane, but they did for prepared and FS10. And here now that I'm um, using uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, I get to actually use Latin VFR. And I've been to San Diego, San Diego area, flown into San Diego several times. And I can tell you, it looks pretty darn close to the real thing in terms of the scenery, the buildings, um, you know, the 3D mesh, uh, you know, the, the landscape and that sort of thing really looks good. And so um, what I'd like to do with you today is just kind of take you through uh, the scenery and show you the scenery. And, and I think right now it's $15.99 and um, you can take a look at that. I've, I've got it here for you. But uh, if you go to their website, um, I believe that the cost is fifteen ninety nine, and you know, and, and they, they they do a pretty good pretty good job for the money. Uh, I would say actually, I would go as, even as far as doing a superb job. And I'm not going to read off all the bullets here, but as you can see, they're charging fifteen ninety nine. You can purchase it off of the Microsoft Marketplace within Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm not sure. I bought it through there, as a matter of fact. And once you buy it, you can't see the price. Uh, I'd have to go back and look at my receipt. I think I spent maybe $16.99, $17.99 for it, something like that. So it might be a little cheaper to get it directly from their site. Um, but in any case, it, it is definitely worth uh, checking out. And uh, I, I think it's worth a purchase, at least if you're from the California area or you're familiar with the San Diego area, it's worth, uh, it's worth, the, it's worth the price. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll go back to it. I'm, I'm going to do kind of a fly over here, um, just kind of show you, you've got, uh, you got the cityscape, um, as you can tell, and, and, the, and, and actually Latin VFR goes a step farther um, or further. They don't, they don't just do the airport. So if you see here, we'll go through the city. Let's take a little tour here. Um, so, you know, they got the interstate. They've got the, uh, you know, um, I think it's uh, USS Midway, uh, aircraft carrier from World War II. Um, you know, they've got the, the main structure and the buildings. Um, they've got the, as you can see, the sailboats and everything like that. Um, but as we fly through here, you can see this, the, the city's done fairly well. 
Um, I can't remember the bridge, but the you know the bridge have gone over it several times. Um, you know to um, to the in, inland area there. It's kind of almost an island, and there's a peninsula area over there. I think it's the Coronado uh, Hotel. And actually, we're gonna we're gonna zoom a little faster here. Uh, here we are at uh, Coronado uh, Hotel. And I mean, look at the detail. I mean, the detail is just phenomenal. And I've I've driven on this bridge here, and I remember coming in, and there is a toll booth right there that you you drive through. They even have that. And I remember taking like these roads, you know, going to the left here. Trying to remember the uh, resort we stayed at. We stayed at a resort. Um, I'll take us over there. But there's a Coronado. Coronado. Coronado? Right. Coronado Hotel. Anybody want to go for a swim? There's there's the uh, pool and the beach. And uh, just remarkable job. I mean, the, the thing that I wanted to show all of you here is it's not just the airport you're paying for with the scenery. You're actually paying for all of this detail that you're not going to get, I mean, you're going to get some of it, like the, the main landscape and that, but you're not going to get this kind of detail, like the Coronado Hotel, you know, that red roof line that we see, that gorgeous, gorgeous roof line there. I've got uh, here. But yeah, I mean, you're, you're just, you're not going to see that kind of detail, right? I mean, you're going to see some of the building, uh, the main kind of structure, maybe some lines of the building, but just not to the detail that you see here. And so you're paying for it, right? So you're paying for the scenery. There's there's a lot of work that goes into this. And, and uh, we, you know, we should pay the, the developers to put this kind of good work into scenery like this. I, you know, they're, they're spending hours and hours doing it. And, uh, you know, I for one, yeah, I mean, okay. $20, $18, you know, you could say, well, you could argue it's third of the cost of flight simulator. Um, you know, and, and, and that's that's a reasonable argument, but you don't have to buy it. And, and that's the thing. You don't have to pay for it. If you're, if you're fine with the default scenery, um, you know, and the textures and everything that come with Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is, which is beyond belief, it's better than X-Plane, it's better than FS10 by far. Um, I explained some of you, I've done this where you do ortho for XP. It's just amazing. If you, you know, if you're a commercial, um, you like to fly commercially and you like to fly, you know, the 35,000 foot and you, you, you will see satellite textures. You can load Bing or Google map data into that. And it looks amazing, but you will not get this kind of detail, uh, with ortho for XP. There's, you just won't, um, even with the auto gen scenery, you're, you're not going to get it. And X plane, and this is where flight simulator and this next generation of flight simming really gets us to the next level. And uh, I don't know how Soba does it. I really don't. To get the, I'm getting right now, by the way, 54 frames per second, and and they're they're doing amazing work. And I just, it's 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 incredible of what what things we have today and what we're going to have in the next year, two years, five years. Uh, plus and so and you know with ray tracing with uh, 30 series nvidia cards the 6000 cards from amd um you know the amd ryzen 9 uh 5900 5950x and the i9 uh was it the 10900ks until i mean just the, the the processing power that is coming to us along with you know the advancements and the technology with uh, microsoft azure and um you know, streaming, gaming, and, and things like that, like the ability that we don't even have to download, like Ortho for XP, for example, I, I bought two eight terabyte drives to not even get the entire world. I got probably, I got all of the United States, a major part of Western Europe, um, and I basically filled up those drives, but Microsoft has figured this out with Azure to do this on the go, on the fly, on demand, and it's just super exciting to see this kind of, uh, detail but uh as we fly through here um with our drone view by the way i'm using drone view um but here we have uh runway 27 and so we'll just take a, a fly through here through the airport 
Um, I don't recall if there is uh, the terminal. You know, that's the other thing that's kind of amazing lately is um, some of the terminals are actually being painted inside. Yeah, actually, this one is. See, look at that. Um, some doors, and eh, not, not, not really, I guess. But, but, yeah, yeah. I mean, somewhat. Um, but, but you know, they're even getting to the point now where you're, you're having some of the terminals. Um, I've got my panning set too fast here. I apologize for that. Um, but in any case, um, amazing scenery. Um, I highly recommend it, and uh, it runs well. Right now, mm, I'm at 30 frames per second. I, I guess I'll, I'll take that. Uh, if I was an X-Plane with this kind of detail, I'd probably be at that as well anyway. So um, actually, I wouldn't have this kind of detail in X-Plane. So um, it'd probably be a, as as good, if not worse. So I'll, I'll take... I'll take this scenery over that any time of the day. Um, so in any case, just wanted to show you the scenery. Um, I highly recommend it. Latin VFR seems to be a, a really good developer for scenery for Microsoft. Um, FS10 prepared. And uh, yeah, I, I, I really think uh, it's worth the money if, uh, if you have a few dollars to spend, especially if you fly or you're from the uh, San Diego or Southern California area. Uh, check it out, pick it up. Uh, again, Latin VFR it is available in the marketplace for KSAN. ICAO code is KSAN, um, uh, San Diego International Airport, but you can pick it up from the marketplace within Microsoft Flight Simulator, or you can pick it up from Latin VFR site as I showed earlier. So uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully you like this video. If so, thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you next time.